not only is the lighting bad, but this is just stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> Hello YouTubers and welcome to another review, my first review of tw in 2012. So let's make this short and sweet, a manga that I feel that should still be here with us today, and that is Locked On, written by Suchita and drawn by Kenta. And apparently they don't have first names. Lock On is a story about a high school girl named Miko who runs into a super photographer named Sonata. Now, unlike most girls, or is it like most girls, Miko has this hatred for men. Oh, wait, it's unlike most girls, she has a secret hatred for men, and she still doesn't like men. But I wouldn't like men either if for most of my life they stalked me and flashed me. She's lucky she wasn't molested. Well, I don't know, if a lady tried to molest me, Well, as a photographer, Sonata finds Nico just beautiful and captivating, and we know how those photographers can get. I don't like the paparazzi, and I think someone agrees with me. But like most other shonen characters, Sonata is good-willed and too naive to know any right from wrong, so it gets kind of generic. Now, character-driven manga and love comedies go in a certain sort of way. Male or female lead A wants something from male or female lead B. Sonata wants to take Nico's picture, which actually happens pretty early on, which is weird. But we learn that he has other motivations, like becoming a normal person. See, Sonata is a smart guy, he can skip grades, and he wants to get in that good high school spirit become a child, well, not a child, but a teenager, so to speak, and Nico does want to overcome her hatred of men, you know, become a normal person, society. I know what you're thinking, right? Character-driven manga needs one thing, strong characters, and this is a pretty easy-going love comedy, so they have to be fun, bouncy, play off each other, they really are set in stone to their character types, unlike other things that I've read and talked about. About. But anyway, let's start off with Nico, a strong girl who doesn't really like men and will kick their ass if they go too far. She's a normal person for the most part, she just hates men. I mean, she'll try to act cool, but like normal people, she'll get embarrassed from time to time. Sonata, professional photographer, high school student, pretty athletic has a bitch and yet creepy right eye, photographic memory, and is too socially stupid for his own goddamn good. Yuki, the foil to Nico. Think of Nico except more bubbly, fun-loving, and easy to get around with people. She hangs out with boys or girls, the one guys want to get with. Also, too naive for her own good, but her radiance kind of overshadows that fact. Yamato, the silent one, the delinquent one, the one people are afraid of, except he's actually a nice guy, even though he does get angry a bit. Finally, Matsuri, the character who didn't get enough screen time and was pretty much reduced to just being a plot device. Now, it's really sad that I have a whole character-driven manga where I would naturally go over the characters in deep detail, but this was only 18 chapters, so I have pretty much shit all to tell you. I mean, I could give away the plot, but it's a review, not a over-review look. It, ugh. It, it really ended too early for the characters to evolve into something. I mean, yeah, this is a character-driven manga, it's a love comedy, they don't pretty much, you know, leave their designated identities to become anything really all that much more, but... Uh, it, it feels weird, I feel empty inside, like, 
like it's missing something maybe actual substance well if there's one thing I can compliment this manga on is its art which is very bright I mean unlike most manga nowadays it doesn't use shading 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 very bright it should be and I actually like it it's very modern very bright not a like I said not a lot of shading how many times can I make this joke but it should be that way. It's about a dude who goes around taking pictures. So the facial expressions were really good. The character models were great. Um, very clean, very cut, very sharp with today's standards. Basically, it's a good, you know, how to draw manga. Yeah, it's very good with that. It's a very standard how to draw manga, except it was so standard, or it, it, it had this, I, I'm pretty sure it was the shading effects that did it for me in this one. It was just so bright and white, and the color, when it actually got dark, it made it stand out a whole lot more, you know, than a bunch of other things that are typically shaded. Shaded. See, I knew I could get a, another shaded joke. I just had to try hard enough. Okay, uh, my final words on this. I just have to say that this manga, it got cut way too early. Now, this is the type of manga where it would be easy enough to wrap it up, but it was rushed. I mean, Nico grows the most out of everyone, and it has a nice ending for what it is, but it is a rushed ending. And the sad thing is, even though Sonata got that picture of Nico that he always wanted, he still wanted more, and what really makes manga like this live are the side characters. I mean, they already had the teacher who oversees their photography club, they already did something with the newspaper club, it would have been cool if someone came in with like cool sensibilities, because Sonata's main attribute, like any standard shonen character, is you know, you have to have some sort of ability, and he had a damn good pair of eyes, or eye, so to speak. But anyway, it's not complete, it's empty, it's something that you, if you want to have a nice little light-hearted read, you know, and I don't mind it, you have to look on the internet, because it sure as hell is not over here. I'm, in fact, it's because of this that I really got into a lot of one-shots, because this was, Lock On was probably one of the first one-shots that I, like, ever really read since people just started scanning one-shots, because I haven't really seen that many more before. But, yeah, it's a good story, good fun plot, and I think the main reason it got cancelled because of Sket Dance. It's kind of sad, because I wouldn't mind two types of stories like that in Shonen Jump. I mean, Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach are already the same goddamn thing, and they shovel out more stuff like it all the time. Ugh, what are they thinking? I, I don't know, I wish there was a better balance. But, give it a read, it won't take you long, not at all. A whole week if you want to be, you know, really stingy about it. Because, you know, first chapter is it, it's around when the first chapters were about 50 pages. But well, for a score, I'm not giving it a score. There's nothing to score. It's 18 chapters. What do I have? It's, it came in two volumes, so... This... So this... Plus this. Ooh. And then the second volume probably just had that one shot. Thicken it out. Whatever. But this was a pretty short review. Not hard to write. I mean, it might be long, so... I'm hoping I can get another one out this month. So, until then, mata o.